Shalom, shalom, shalom. Just coming back again with another video, another short lesson. Not going to make this too quick. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And uh, all praises due to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that have taught me this truth. May Yahweh Bashem El Shai invest more in you. And the same goes down to the rank and file. May Yahweh Bashem El Shai be with you as well. So, Earlier today, I was just scrolling through my subscriptions and I came across this post that was posted by RT News. And, um, you know, immediately, you know, this picture here caught my attention. I didn't really go into the article yet. I'm going to do so later. But, you know, um, you know, this picture, man, it, it brought up some scriptures in my mind and a lot of thoughts. So I didn't even... Hit the article yet, and I'm sure the article is very interesting, right? So anyway, the post is called "Calling NATO Brain Dead" it was a useful wake-up call, Marcon, and this is the the French president, um, you know, bashing NATO, right? All right. So anyway, um, now what you see here in the picture, or on the picture, is uh, the French president, Marcon. Now, what do you notice? You notice that the star is behind his head. All right. And it's an upside down star. And guess what? The horns are coming out of the, out of his head. Now, that represents. Now, that shows you that um, he worships the devil. He worships Satan and that he is also a devil. He is a deceiver himself because what he I'm sure when he while he's on that podium, he's, he's not telling the truth. He's speaking li lies and he's working at ulterior motives. And he's working for um, these international bankers, man. These globalists, right? These like the Rothschilds and the Gettys. Okay, the real the real rulers of the earth, the one percent. Okay, so that's what that represents. That shows you, and, and it also shows you that there's a lot of witchcraft in geopolitics. Um, a lot of a lot of your politicians and your aristocrats that. That are that are that are deemed as nobles and very uh, prominent in the in the in the world and in our society in our society today, they're a bunch of witches and warlocks, and that's what this proves. Right. So now I scrolled down and I looked at the comments because this also um, took my attention, man. Okay, a lot of people are waking up to the fact that you know you politicians. You're corrupt, and um, you, you you don't you don't have you don't have the best interests for for the average person, the average human being. You don't you don't have the best interest for life in general. Okay, and, and people are waking up to that, and you see a lot of people um, calling out Mr. Marcone over here by by saying that he he's a he's a damn uh, Satan worshiper. Okay. So it, it says here, this was posted by Ishakar, and this is an Israelite, okay? You you know, you know, he's watching the videos, Ishakar. And you can thank the men of the Lord for that, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down. And really, going back to Abba Bibbins, okay? And uh, Elder Yaikwab, El, Elder Arya, okay? And then uh, Apost Elder Apostle Tahar, and the rest of the apostles and elders on down. Apo I, I apologize if I can't uh, mention all your names, but... There's so many elders and and, uh, and apostles, right? But um, you can thank them, okay? And that's why um, this information is coming out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. So he goes on to say, pentagram in the background that doubles as horns. Check, right? And um, he got 232 likes on this. And that also shows you that 232 people agree with what he's saying and they know about that information. They know about how you elites get down okay and it says uh here faceless propagandists calling marcone a rothschild puppet is also a wake-up call <laughs> 224 likes so a, a lot of people they know that the ruling class of this world is bought out and sold out by the one percent right 
So here, here we go. Let's go. Let's go see. It says, "I am that I am." And, oh, and that's spiritual. That that that's that's scriptural. When you go into the book of Exodus, when Moses he asked the Lord's name, "What is your name?" and and, and how did the Lord answer? He said, "He is to be," which his name is Yahweh. Now, when you say it and and it translate when when you when you say it, it it, it goes to say, "I am that I am," right? But when you filter it in first person through through a first person standpoint or perspective it really means he is to be okay all right so that's scriptural as well and that got 75 likes and i bet you this person here he came across the hebrew israelites you can even tell by the names man all right so it says look at the inverted pentagram behind this demon homosexual aristocrat and guess what 75 people agreed and now let's see how many views how many views were on this, I believe? Well, you got 933 likes. But it just shows you, man, people are waking up. And this is the Lord removing that veil and that covering cast. Now I'm going to hit that precept and then close up. So let's get it. This is Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. You know, going into the government. In this mountain, which really goes back to a government. Okay, the face of the covering cast over all people, you know, that covering cast is really through lies and deception and you people believing in the wrong thing. Especially our people, man. Um, I believe it goes into the father of lies. Probably pull that up. And, and also, um, you know, the scriptures also compares our, our people to to like being being like the 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 father the devil man which which is which is a which devil just means deceiver which our people they believe lies and they love it that's why so much of our people are involved in the christian church right and the christian church is full of lies because they don't tell you the truth about, or they don't tell you what's really in the scriptures right they give you they give you um they give you they give you lies about how the Lord looks, about who the real people are, right? A lot of Christians today they believe that um, Yahweh Shai is a white man. They believe that God Himself, Yahweh, He is to be, is a white man, right? Those are all lies. That's a covering cast. And then it says, and the veil that is spread over all the nations, right? And that veil also goes into um, idols. Okay, d different graven images that people uh, put up on a pedestal, like uh, believing in Buddhism, believing in Islam, uh, Christianity, Caesar Borgia, um, uh, the Holy Mary, the so-called unholy Mary, okay, um, and, and other things like um, atheism, okay, that, that's a veil, and the Lord, he's about to move that away. How is he doing it? He's really doing it through the internet and through his men. That's why you're starting to see a lot of camps come up, popping all over the earth. You know, this Hebrew Israelite um, um, spiritual thing that has that has been set up by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, it's global. It's all over the world. And that's a part of the Lord removing that veil and that covering cast because now everybody is open to hearing the truth. Where, wherever they are and 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 you know what's what's the heavy lifter behind that the internet because how did how did um how did this truth get spread all over the world through somebody going on youtube or daily motion or one of those social media media sites like facebook or instagram and now they they looked at the word and they got inspired to go out and um make a camp and to push videos so and and this also proves we're at the end. We're almost out of here. Okay, because these people have to hear their judgment, and the elect has to be sealed. Now, um, that's all that I got on this. You know, I hope this was edifying. Until next time, um, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Also, Kwam Yasha Allah and Abad Babal Shalom.